Welcome to the Film and TV channel, one of our regular features. We'll have a quick look, uh, if you like buying DVDs, Blu-ray, 4K, I don't think there is any this week, just Blu-ray and DVD, I think. But if you like putting them on your shelves and buying these things, just to let you know what's out on November the 29th, Monday the 29th, November the 29th, 2021. This is uh, UK in store and also available online, so check your territory if it's slightly different to that. Right, we've got set four films and I think six TV today, so ten things altogether. Uh, let's get on with the films. The first one's called Wendy. Yeah, I'm a bit, I've not seen many of these today, today, guys. I've usually seen a few of these, but this is Wendy, an hour and 51 minutes, a 12 certificate, starring Devin France and Yeshua Mack. It's uh, Lost on a Mysterious Island, where ageing and time have come unglued. It's obviously to do with Peter Pan, this, isn't it? Wendy must fight to save her family, her freedom, and the joyous spirit of youth from the deadly peril of growing up. I wish we could. The classic story of Peter Pan is reimagined in this ragtag epic. Yeah, ragtag epic. Score, internet movie database. It's only getting 5.7 out of 10, but not a total disaster. I might have to try and seek that one out and give it a watch. The next one I have reviewed, it uh, seems a long time ago now, uh, the new Candyman, yeah, 18 certificate, 9.99, oh, there is a, there's a 4K, I was lying to you, 9.99 DVD, 14.99 Blu-ray, and 24.99 4K. Aya Abdul Mateen the second, Tiona Paris, Nathan Stewart, Jarrett, Coleman, Domingo, and many more starring this. Two hours and 27 minutes, far too long. For decades, a housing project for Chicago's Cabrini Green was terrorized by a ghost story about a supernatural hook handed killer. In present day, an artist, Yaya Abdul Mateen the second, plays this artist, begins to explore the macabre history of Candyman, not knowing it would unravel his sanity, unleash a terrifying wave of violence that puts him on a collision course with destiny of course it does internet movie database just below that little six or that six out of ten five point nine out of ten so not great check out my review on it anyway i'll try and put a link i remember to put a link in the thing for you to have a look at that one if you've not seen it yet and the next one yeah it's christmas isn't it christmas coming up not far now about a month away as i'm, as I'm recording this a christmas carol yes a new version this is a 9.99 dvd 14.99 blu-ray a PG rating, 85 minutes. This one stars uh, Simon Russell Beale, Martin Freeman, Kerry Mulligan, Daniel Kaluuya and Andy Serkis, who obviously lend the voices to this. It's not an, it's an actual animated thing. And it's A Christmas Carol follows a Victorian family as they prepare a toy theatre for their annual performance of A Christmas Carol. The audience enters the imagination of one of the children and quickly the cardboard stage transforms to reveal a magical world containing real dancers and stylized sets. Not doing great though. Internet movie database. Just 5.1 out of 10, not great, but I will try, I do like my Christmas movies, I will try and get a look at that one. And the last film today that's out to buy, Sweetheart, yeah, oh bless, 15 certificate, 9.99 DVD, 94 minutes. For AJ, played by Nell Barlow, planning a gap year trip to knit jumpers for elephants is much, much more appealing than spending a week with her family at a British seaside holiday park. How rude. Yet she finds herself on a four-hour car journey to the Dorset coast with her mum, Tina, played by Joe Hartley, from uh, This Is England, of course, and little sister, Dana. Met by older sister Lucy, played by Sophie DiMartino, and her boyfriend Steve, played by Samuel Anderson, AJ expects this to be a week of hell. That is, until she lays her eyes on the resident lifeguard, Isla, played by Ella Ray Smith, and is instantly infatuated. Nothing like a holiday romance. Score 6.3 out of 10, internet movie day space. So that's not too bad, is it? So there you go, there's your four films. And on to the TV, yes. Well, if you like a bit of David Attenborough narrated nature stuff, you've got The Mating Game. That's available now to buy a very popular TV series, 14 99 on DVD, a PG rating. Uh, of course, narrated by Mr. Attenborough, the story behind the most fascinating, hilarious and dramatic quest to find a mate and leave a lasting legacy. It's, 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 we've all had that problem, haven't we? Some species need to overcome the challenges of a vast environment just to find a member of the opposite sex. Others find them, don't they use, don't use the internet. Uh, others find themselves pitched against their neighbours in a mass mating aggregation. Some must impress with complex displays. Others build extraordinary structures to prove their worth. One thing, however, connects them all, the drive to succeed at all costs. Internet Movie Database, only 9.1 out of 10. Not a very high score at all. Hey, that's out to buy now, guys. You want to buy yet Mr. Attenborough's stuff.
Star Trek Lower Deck Season 1. Yeah, that's out to buy $14.99 DVD. And we got $29.99 Blu-ray. It seems a bit expensive, that. Uh, might be a typo, that, guys. But have a check round for the prize on that one. Tony Newsom and Jack Quaid add the voices to this. So about 4 hours, 11 minutes. I've watched three or four episodes. It was okay. It was okay. It's not one I'm sort of eager to go back and watch. Series creator Mike McMahon, writer and executive producer of Rick and Morty, takes you where no Star Trek series has gone before to the lower decks. Join rule breaker Beckett Marine, aspiring captain Brad Boimler, and rookie Devana Tendy and part cyborg Sam Rutherford as they attempt to navigate the most mysterious corners of our universe with very little experience. Yeah, it is okay. As I say, it's probably something I may go back and watch one day. Overall, Internet Movie Database, good score, 7.2 out of 10. Well, that's out to own now. And the next one, yes, I have enjoyed this new series. I did enjoy the originals. Uh, All Creatures Great and Small Seasons, Season 2 or Series 2. It's British, it's out now, 16.99 DVD, 4 hours, 30 minutes. Of course, a visit back home to Glasgow presents James, played by Nicholas Ralph, with a dilemma, one that leaves his parents overjoyed when he's offered a position at his old mentor's forward-thinking practice in Glasgow. On his return to the Dales, James is reminded of how much he loves the place and the people and thinks of one person who it would be worth staying in Yorkshire for. Oh, bless. Oh, lovely. Uh, episodes score anywhere between 8.2 and 9.0. Oh. Not didn't do a review on series two. I had a little go at series one when that first came out, but uh, yeah, series two still still good. Not quite up there with series one for me, but still very very good. Uh, so that's out to buy. The next one I've got not caught this one either. Uh, this is one of these uh, sort of new sort of Brit uh, thriller crime drama things that are appearing all over the place now. This is a twelve ticket Queens of Mystery series one, sixteen ninety nine, four and a half hours. Follows the adventures of newly promoted detective sergeant Matilda Stone, played by Olivia Vinnell, and her free crime writing aunts as they solve murders in the picturesque English region of Wildmarsh. I don't think it is that I think that's made up. Uh, though Matilda's strict boss warns her that the investigations are police only matters, her aunts can't help but offer their expertise. So loads of load of budding Miss Marples here. As well as unsolicited dating advice as Matilda contends with a novelist killed during a blackout at an awards ceremony, an aging rock star strangled before her band's reunion tour, and an actor killed on stage. The one case she can't seem to crack is the unexplained disappearance of her mother more than 20 years ago. I wonder where she's gone. The splendid ensemble cast, their words not mine, also features Julie Graham, Siobhan, Redmond and Sarah Woodward. 7.3 out of 10. Good score. I'll have, to, I'll have to try and dig that one up. And the next one, again, something I've missed. Intergalactic, if you've watched this. 1999 DVD, 2299 Blu-ray, a 15 certificate. It's just under six hours. Intergalactic involves a crew of fierce female convicts who break free and go on the run. It's like Prisoner Cell Block H in space, I believe, someone said. Uh, the year 2143, so not too far away. Uh, hoping, here's hoping I'm still around. After Sky Cop Harper, played by Savannah Steen, is framed for a crime, she's placed on board prisoner transport ship the Hemlock, bound for an off planet prison. Starring Eleanor Tomlinson, Phyllis Logan, Michael Smiley, Parminda Nagra, and Natasha. Yeah, we didn't score as highly as Prisoner Cell Block H, that's for sure. Uh, obviously, Internet Movie Day Space, 4.3 out of 10. Not brilliant. And the next one, another one, I've not seen this one either. And this is the last one of the, the TV stuff. Brave New World, 1999 on DVD, a 15 certificate, 6 hours, 45 minutes. In a utopia whose perfection hinges upon control of monogamy and privacy, members of the collective begin to question the rules, putting their regimented society on a collision course with forbidden love and revolution. This stars Aidan Henrik Enrenreich, eh, eh, Jessica Brown Finlay, Hannah John Kamen, and Harry Lloyd. Uh, scoring pretty well, 7.1 out of 10. So that's an interesting one. So there you go, four films, Wendy, Candyman, A Christmas Carol and Sweetheart. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit torn with that one. I say Christmas Carol's not scoring very well. I'd probably have a go at Wendy, see what Wendy was like. If you said to me I had to buy one of those films, I'd go for Wendy. And the six TV things. The Mating Game, Star Trek Lower Deck Series 1, uh, All Creatures Great and Small Series 2, Queens of Mystery Series 1, Intergalactic and Brave New World. I did fancy Intergalactic until I saw that score, so I'm going to have to go for The Mating Game. Aren't I see how it's all done with Mr Attenborough, I'm sure he'll explain it fully to us what, what happens anyway. Let me know if there's anything you've been looking forward to buying or any of those that sort of whet your appetite or you've bought and you can recommend to me, so... 
I know it's something of those that I've not watched that I need to go out and watch. Uh, that'd be great. Anyway, thanks for joining us today. What are we going to do rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, catch your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. To meet here again on the Film and TV channel. Perhaps we'll flit across, please, if you can. Have a look at my football channel. If you're into football and my, my team, Manchester City, is, is just for football fans as well. It's, you know, but it's obviously preferably for Manchester City fans. Or, you know, somebody who might be interested, please put it in my direction. I'd be very grateful. But you can have a look at that as well. That'd be absolutely brilliant thanks for watching guys i only ask one thing don't sir whatever you do till we meet again whether it's over there or on here on the film and tv channel if this is the, your main interest i only ask you to please stay safe everyone thanks for watching bye for now